Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Mighty Model Shop Creations. Today, we'll be opening the Socks and Martin Boss Cuda by Johan. Without further ado, let's roll the intro. <music> First off, we have the beautiful box art. I love these old Johan kits because they have amazing box art. And the kits are really well made. Got information on the side. So we open the box. We have instructions, and so we'll get to the decals later. First, we have the body of the car. It looks pretty dirty. <clears throat> The grill is a chrome piece, which is different, and the hood is inside the car. It's stuck in there. We have the <coughs> chassis. Nothing crazy. And that hood is uh, stuck in there. And it's, oh wait, oh, it's still stuck in there. Oh, there's the interior. I'm going to have to wash this before I paint it for sure. There's the hood. I think this was partially assembled because that hood scoop is not normally on there. Next up we have the glass. I did go through this already, and that's why it's wrapped in tissue paper. But I decided to unbox it for you guys. So, glass, multiple pieces, front, rear, sides. Doesn't look too scratched. Next up, we have the engine. Again, partially assembled because we bought this kit as a quote-unquote glue bomb. We have the parts trees. We're on to the parts trees. Exhaust. Suspension. Rear drive shaft. Lots of good pieces, I'm sure. Oh. More pieces for engines, bucket seats, roll bar. And the dashboard. Can you see that? Okay. And the dashboard. Gauges molded in. Firewall. Radiator fan. Radiator. Piece of chrome. I'm pr assuming this is the rear bumper. Oil pan. And the wheels, the tires. Goodyear printed. One, they're quite dirty. I'll have to wash those. More bits and pieces in the box. We have, I guess you'd call this a chrome tree. Rims are in excellent shape. And everything else. Some more spray painted parts. There's the gas tank. So much bits. Oh, this is interesting. The rear tail lights are like one big strip of plastic. And this looks to be the front bumper. Even more engine bits. Lots of good stuff. I'm always, when I open these kits, I'm surprised on how well, or how detailed they are, considering that they were made a while ago. Next up, we have the instruction manual. I'm excited to see the decals. Look at this. It's just like a piece of paper, and they just printed the decals on it. 
or not decals. They just printed the printing instructions on it. Got a little illustration. Engine assembly. You guys can pause the video if you want to look at it. Interior. Gives you the paint guide. Chassis and body assembly. Relatively easy kit. And finally, the decals. I know we've been waiting for this one. Bam! It's huge, huge side decals. I don't know if they're going to be salvageable, but we'll have to see. Socks and Martin. Blue pinstripe that goes down through the car. And we got Pepsi logos, which there's no red on them, which is different. Dodge, Dick Landy, which was one of the drivers. Ronnie Sox, which was also one of the drivers. More um, more advertisements. And mechanic is Jake King. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss an upload from me. And comment down below if you want me to build this thing. Or what I should do with it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.